Thank you for joining me today. My name is Myra Moore with Moore Football LLC. Joining me today is a defensive back out of Pearson College, Brandon Ray. Brandon, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing good. It's, I mean, it's quarantine life. Not much we can do right now. <laughs> right, right, right. But how are you? What have you been doing? But wait, wait, before we get into that, tell me a little bit about you as far as your height, your weight, and how old you are. Nice. So, do you have one more year of eligibility, or are you now a free agent? I have one more year. Okay. This will be my senior year upcoming. Nice. Well, are they gonna? Are, is there gonna be college football? Do you know? Have they told you guys if they're gonna open up um, the season? Yes, I, I, my coaches they, they call me like every day. They uh, keep me afloat with everything. You know, just telling me to be patient. That's the best thing to do. But we will have a season. You know, uh, it may be September or maybe push back to October. That's, and that's all that matters. We're okay with that. If they have to wait till September, October, we're okay. Just as long as it's, there's college ball, because that it's I don't. People are saying it is unfair, and I hate to say it's unfair, but it's so unfair. With the help, this has come in and it's just stopped everybody. So keeping my fingers crossed. But what I wanted to give a, a good you know a shout out before we go is I commend you. You're already starting on your marketing and getting yourself out there and getting your name, you know, so that way you're known before you're like doing a year in advance. Literally people, guys don't usually start until at the end of their, their last season or right when they become free agents. Um, that's usually when they start. So I was really surprised when I saw it and I was like, this is a 2021 guy. I love it. Good job on that. You know, have, especially getting your name out there because there's so many small school guys out there and it's, there's thousands. So when we're, we're trying to promote people, people are lost out in the shuffle if they don't get if they don't take the initiative and ask for the interviews and hunt down people and you know just get their name out there. So good job, keep that up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Thank let's you. let's talk about football. So were were you able to have any pro days or any official numbers that you could share with us as far as like your forty and stuff like that? Oh yeah, I'm on forty right now. It's a four four five. That's good. Um, yeah, uh, my coaches and uh, like the team, we uh, like during spring ball, like before it started, we we did like the you know, shuttle colos, the forty yard dash, uh, bench press, kind of kind of get a feel of what pro day would be like, mm -hmm. or if I were to go to uh, the combine. Um, so it just did things like that for us to get a feel and prepare for it. Yes, because that's major. It's like almost it. Well, it is training. Um, but yeah, you do need that because one, it's going to help with your internal jitters. You need because a lot of times mentally you'll defeat yourself before you even start the actual you know procedure or whatever it is that you're doing. So that's that's great. I'm glad that your coaches are doing that because that's that's a really good thing to do. So that way you guys know what to expect when you're going into them. Because coming out once you finish your senior year, that's when a lot of the combines and a lot of the invites are going to begin, and it's just going to be you know nonstop unless you're drafted next year. Right. I mean, right now, I have, uh, you know, a lot of invites as far as uh, bowl games I've uh, been invited to. Uh, Good for you. Oh, uh, couple, like two or three combines that I've been just, you know, hey, where you're on our list. You know, we can't do just anything just quite yet. Yeah. But, hey, you, were, you know, you're on our list. We got you in mind. They, they send, you know, messages and texts and emails and everything like that to me. Every, mostly every day. That's good because I know like the NFL and the CFL, nobody can touch you right now, but that's good that like the right. national combines and the, the bowl games are actually reaching out. If you can be a part of that, that share it. And once you know you get your stuff, post it so we can retweet because that's those are good accolades. That's like building your resume. So you, you need right. that. That's right. good. Right. So as far as training, what are you doing right now? Uh I still, you know, uh, work out with, with guys that's already either in, 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 in pro leagues or that's headed there. Um, try to do as much as I can. Uh, I have a garage here where I live. You know, I have things set up within the, in the garage, like you know, ladders, um, dumbbells, just, you know, homey workouts that I can do. Yes, keeping yourself in shape. That's, I mean, that's the biggest thing. 
And you would be surprised. So many people are doing the homemade stuff. I even made my own homemade gym because I'm a crossfitter. So I did my own. I bought like everything and I've been doing it in my garage. So whatever you can do to stay in shape, do it. Because once, you know, for you, especially for you, when, when football comes back, they'll know if you've been training or not. I mean, your performance isn't going to lie. So it'll let the coaches know. So whatever you're doing to keep in shape, keep doing it. Well, what would you describe for me as a strength for you on the field? So that's amazing. And you said you're captain of your DBs? Yes, ma'am. Good job. I like that. That Those are things that you need to, you know, in, in high school, we're always promoting dual sport athletes or captains and, and really promoting your athletes. But then when you get to college, it kind of falls to the wayside. So when guys tell me, like, you know, you, there's extra that's going on, I love that. That, that position is, is more earned on a college level than high school. Yeah. Yep, it's not like favoritism or anything like that. It's literally you're out there grinding and blood, sweat, and tears on that field. So, congratulations. I feel like I'm giving you a thumbs up a lot. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. So, hand in hand with the strength, what would you describe as a weakness for you on the field? you're not going to so that you're right you, you can accidentally miss something because you're just out there posted waiting but then you kind of get into like this little law so yeah. that's definitely something you can fix though you just have right. to you know you're aware of it so you just have to keep yourself focused and and tunnel visioned into the game itself regardless if the ball's on your side or not so right. um but what so i have i have i do have a question that i like to ask everybody if a coach were to approach you today a professional um, and offer you a spot or offer you a contract and say, and ask you what makes you different from the next defensive back? What would you say? What would you say that would, you know, what would make you different? What would make you an asset to the team and why should they sign you? You're a leader. You have to be for the captain of the ship, right? right. You have it's it's an ingrained thing. So you no, know, those are those are good qualities to have. That's what that's what they want. Because not as much as we want everybody to be leaders, you can't. You have to have your B type personalities who have who follow the A type personalities, but you want to have the the right A type personalities on your team to be able to lead those guys. So that's a good thing to do. Um, so before we wrap up, as far as you know, professional NFL players or even CFL players, who do you look up to? Who do you mirror your game against?
carry himself as a, as a person. Um, that, that's that's like a, a big idol of mine. If I were to meet, man, that would that would make my day. That's your dude. Yeah. I love it. No, I like Jalen Ramsey too because he's not. He doesn't have that cocky attitude. Right. Or that chip. And he may have. He may have a chip, but he doesn't let people see it. And he's just out there grinding. So I love that. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Well, before we wrap up, this is your last hurrah. Anything else you would like us to know, let coaches, recruiters know who Brandon Wright is? Yes, 2021, one more year of eligibility, but he'll be eligible for the draft. Um, it looks like I'm losing you there. There, we got you back, okay. Um, he'll be eligible next year for the draft. So take a look at him. I have his film posted to this post. Uh, the full interview, you can view it on YouTube at More Football, as well as Instagram at More Football LLC and TikTok. And I just lost him. Um, but thank you all so much. I really appreciate you guys being here. Please take a look at their film, like, retweet this video. It helps our small school guys. Uh, one like, one share, you would be amazed how much it changes. So take a like, look, share, retweet. Look at all the social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Thank you all. You guys have a great day. And if you're still there, Brandon, because we lost your video connection, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.